This is probably the craziest paper title that I've read recently. Repeat after me, transformers are better than state space models at copying. Transformers are better than state space models at copying. This is literally the title of the paper. This paper offers a very nice perspective about what we are seeing with respect to Mamba and state space models. Let's get started. The title of the paper, as you know, repeat after me, transformers are better than state space models at copying. So if you're new here, you would probably know that most of the large language models that we are dealing with today are transformer based models. It is a paper that was released by Google and a bunch of researchers together in 2017. And since then we have seen a huge uprise in large language models. And what recently started happening is that people have started realizing that transformers do not scale well because it requires quadratic computation when you increase the token size. So they started coming up with new models. One of the model architecture is state space model. So it's not a different model in itself. It's a different architecture altogether and a very popular state space models. We have covered multiple times on this channel is Mamba. So what this paper is trying to do is this paper is trying to say, okay, you've got transformer based model. You have got, let's say SSM based models, which they are calling as generalized state space models, GSSM. So of these two architectures, what is that architecture that is really good for practical task? So we have seen in the past when these models were compared, they were compared mostly with a metric called perplexity. Perplexity just measures the text to be uh, text to be coherent. Like if you have a coherent text, you have lower per perplexity. When the text is like very gibberish, you will have higher perplexity. So lower the perplexity is better. And that is how previous most papers that compared Mamba with transformers did. But what these uh, researchers here from Harvard University, I guess, um, yeah, Harvard University wanted to do is they wanted to try it out with some practical use case. So they did. Okay, fine. The practical use case that we're going to do is copying. How good are these models in copying something or retrieving something? So that's what they're doing. They're doing three things total. Just literally copy it. Second thing is get retrieve it from, for example, you have got a phone book. Can you retrieve the phone number of a person? Third is question and answer. So these are the three different tasks on which they are measuring. Probably there are more, but what we're going to see is, okay, how, how do these models do? And what, do, what does it mean? Like for the future of, let's say beyond transformers kind of an architecture. So first to start with, they're explaining what they're trying to do here. So you have got like two models. One is transformer based models, but there's a growing interest that use a fixed size latent state that does not depend on the sequence length. So what do they mean by fixed size latent length, sorry, state. So these state space models, they take your entire context and store it in a state. And that is exactly how they remember everything. That's how they, they are able to not depend on the sequence length that they have got. And that is what the disadvantage of transformers or supposedly the disadvantage of transformers in scaling up. So what they're saying is while GSMs are promising in terms of inference time efficiency, they're limited compared to transformer models on tasks that require copying from input context. So whatever you give us input context, when the model has to copy or take a certain element from that, they're saying that these models may not do a good job, especially when, you know, the state in which they can store it has got a limited memory. So if it goes beyond that, these models perform really bad. So we start with the theoretical analysis of simple task of string copying, prove that to a two layer transformer can copy strings of exponential length. So this transformers has got like layers and transformer head. So they're saying that even if the length um, of uh, the string is exponential to the number of heads of the transformers, still they can do a job while GSSMs, the generalized state space models are fundamentally limited by their fixed latent state. Whatever the size of the latent state, that is the biggest bottleneck for how much data that it can store within the context. Empirically, we find the transformers outperform GSSMs in terms of efficiency, generalization on synthetic tasks that require copying. So finally, we evaluate pre-trained large language models and find that transformer models dramatically outperform state space models at copying and retrieving information together. So basically, this is a very practical sense of an approach. And there is a very important point that they made in this paper that I kind of like started thinking, okay, maybe there is something to the way that human beings communicate. So we'll, we'll see that as well. First, 
they're giving you um, information about what is a transformer what is the problem with uh, transformers memory um, what is the reason why people are going with new model states uh, new model architectures like mamba and after they have given all the information i think most of you at this point watching this video might already know some of the discussions that they we have uh, already had versus transformers versus mamba but uh, the main thing here is that okay what the models are showing so let's directly jump into the task in itself so there are three different types of tasks we have got one we have got a copying task like literally you go and then uh, copy from the input context the second one we go to recop retrieve from the input context and uh, third uh, so the second retrieval is phone book lookup and the third retrieval is question and answer so we are skipping multiple sections where they did the theoretical approach where they did uh, the two two layer transformer so we are directly going inside something where they are using practical llms that we are familiar with uh, and we are going to see what they've done so the kind of llms that they are using is for transformer based architecture they are using pythia i think pythia came from eleuther ai if i remember correctly and mamba for the ssm and they've got different model parameters 14 mb 1.4 billion parameters uh to sorry not mb 400 million 410 million parameters 1.4 billion 2.8 billion and they are trying to check this across three different tasks copy copy shuffle string question and answering and something that you might find quite fascinating and profound now which um, we'll quickly see once again so what first we are trying to do is we are trying to give it some information and then we are trying to expect the large language model to copy from the input text that we have given or the input context and then fill in the rest of the items and uh, you can you can basically see the kind of setup that they're going ahead with and uh, one of the most important thing is um, the reason why they've picked these two models is that these two models have been pre-trained on a data set that is called the pile and they use the same tokenizer so you kind of can say that they might it's a very fair play um, I, I'll leave it to better researchers to say whether it is a fair play but you know that's that's what they're trying to say so the Mamba models generally have slightly lower perplexity so for the given training size, we have seen very recently that the Mamba models have lower perplexity than the transformer equivalent. And uh, the main difference between Pythia models and Mamba models is the architectural design in and itself. So we are comparing basically not two models, two different architectures with two different philosophies of how the architecture is designed. Now, what is the task? So we have uh, we have the data from uh, c4 data set they have randomly taken data from c4 data set the prompt consists of two copies of the sample string plus the first word of the string so let's say i love abdul i love abdul and uh, you have got then i so you what you are expecting is that you expect the model to complete the third copy that's what you're expecting so what they're saying is that the smallest transformer model dramatically outperforms the largest gssm this happens even though the large GSSMs have enough bits in the state variable to potentially store the context. So at the start, you might have learned that, okay, there is a state, there is like somewhere it stores the state and uh, that is the context in which it stores. What they are saying is that even though you have enough bits in the state variable to store the entire context, still it does not do well. This confirms the idea that this there is an architectural bias of transformers that makes it easier for them to copy from the context. So they're saying maybe transformers have something that makes it easier for them to copy. The other thing is unlike a string of tokens sampled uniformly at random. So let's say you have got like bunch of English words and you are randomly taking hundred words and creating something. So unlike a string of tokens sampled uniformly at random, natural text can often be compressed, possibly allowing language models to copy longer string even with limited memory. Of all the things on this paper, this is what I found quite fascinating. So what they have done to prove this or figure out this is they have actually done this comparison. So one, you have a natural string, like for example, something like I love Abdul and you are asking the model to complete it. So if you foresee for this, you have got Pythia models. Um, you can see the Pythia models doing good. And then you see the Mamba models somewhere approaching zero accuracy as you increase the number of tokens. And we know that when you increase the number of tokens, it does not have enough memory or enough bits 
to store the state information. So it kind of comes down with accuracy, which is exactly what this paper is trying to tell us why transformers are better in terms of copying well and good. But what is very fascinating is that when you do not have a coherent text, when you do not have natural language text, when you just have like shuffled a string, you can see that these models, all the models are like super zero, like very closely zeros. And that is what they're saying. So when you do not have natural language text in figure seven B, we conduct the same experiment, but randomly shuffle the order to order out of the words in the string. We find that when we shuffle the words, both GSSMs and transformers perform worse on the task, but the effect is more stark on GSSMs. Even the largest GSSM now gets zero accuracy on string of length of 300. This suggests that when the input is more difficult to compress, the GSSM suffers due to its, its fixed size state. So there are a couple of things that we need to unpack it. One, there is something about transformers and the way human beings talk. It can compress the knowledge and retrieve it back. Then there is something about GSSM that makes it harder for it to do that. But when you have the random shuffle string, transformers still are like slightly decent. Like you, it, you can see that. But what happens with the GSSM or Mamba here is that it goes to zero very fast. So one, maybe human beings talk in a certain way that makes it easier for these models to understand or that is how this has been designed. Or the second thing is the fact that Mamba models still manage to copy something, I feel like there is a potential to improve. I know this paper is trying to tell you otherwise, but I kind of like this kind of shows that maybe Mamba models in its current form are trying just to say, okay, perplexity is low when you compare it with the transformers, but having this kind of perspective to say that, okay, I'm going to just create a Mamba model that would serve me exactly a practical purpose than just creating next word or next text. I think that will give a potential to see how the Mamba models or new Mamba models would perform when you compare it with these transformer models, because we know the inference cost is less with Mamba models. We know that they can have like a huge amount of latent space to store the input context. You can expand the space. But when you do that, I think this could probably mean that, you know, you don't need rag, you don't need a lot of other things. Still, the Mamba models can do perform a better job than transformers. Maybe potentially there's a possibility. Now, finally, they are doing uh, the retrieval task. Previously, what we saw was a copying task for natural language and also random string. Then you have the retrieval task phone book lookup. There is a phone book. Probably most of you are uh, not old enough to remember that humans used to carry something called a phone book. It used to have name, number, like literally name and number. Now we have uh, everything on the smartphone. So um, what they're trying to do is they're trying to create like a phone book, like uh, you've got the name and the number. And what they wanted to do is they wanted to give the name and then see if the number can be retrieved by these models. And uh, the models are uh, not, once again, you can see that they're saying that the GSSM models, um, they have like difference in the way they uh, retrieve it. It's a few short prompting, two short prompting to be specific. And this shows that in retrieval tasks, which require access to the whole context, GSSM struggles to store the relevant information. So what they're saying is that even though the, uh, the GSSMs try to store the entire context, it still misses out when it is going to retrieve. And then they're showing similar stuff with question and answering, which you can actually see how the question and answering performs. The 2.8 billion parameter model on Pythia and also Mamba shows that the Delta is not huge and there is a huge potential for Mamba to grow. I mean, the way I take this paper out at the end of the day, so the paper actually finishes here, you can go see the experiment and all the information. But the way I take this paper is even though the paper literally says, repeat transformers are better than state space models at copying, I add a sub text or suffix to that saying at this moment, transformers are a very matured architecture. And if transformers could have improved all these things like you know, we have got instruction fine tune model, we have got DPO, we have got a bunch of, a lot of crazy innovations that made these large language models to what it is today. And I think there is a good potential for Mamba to grow and then become that model. I still feel there is a bottleneck there in terms of the fixed state size, the number of bits it requires to store the initial information. But I think bottleneck is something that you would have everywhere. And I'm definitely excited to see where the transformer base models and also the Mamba or SSM models would grow. I hope this was helpful to you in getting a different perspective for Mamba fans. And if you're a Transformer fans, you have got a relief. See you in another video. Happy prompting.